I'll do. Abstinence and recovery centre in the distance. I'll do. I'll do. <laughs> That's what you say, innit? Yeah. So, uh, those that are new to the channel, yeah, I am an ex-prison officer. I'm more than that, but this is where my sort of, uh, I don't know, journey, twice published author and all that bollocks started. This is Daz. There. Yeah? He's a Berry lad. Do you say Berry? I don't. What do you say? Manchester, didn't I? I'm from Manchester, so I've never picked up the accent. All my brothers have. They talk that, like that, catch that buzz. A lot of people struggle with this. He's a mate of mine. Yeah? The reason they struggle is, in the background there, Let's turn it round. The Strange Ways Prison. There's a tower. Haunts the skyline of Manchester. That princess castle there is the old gatehouse. No longer used. And that gable end there is K-Wing. Yeah? So... Yeah, people don't understand. There's an officer who's got friends who... Uh, uh, Definitely. Come on, tell them, t tell them how we met, Daz. So we had similar jobs, didn't we? Similar roles. Is that right? Sim similar roles. Well, you tell me. <laughs> you were on G-Wing, weren't you? Yeah, on, on G-Wing. Briefly describe G-Wing. Uh, it's busy, isn't it? It's busy, new faces every day. Induction wing. Yeah, new people, new faces every day. Uh, and then they get moved on and new faces again. So it's uh, simply busy. You were a cleaner on there? Yeah. I've never been, been so clean, they say. They want me back. There you go. I'm flat out. But yeah. Pro proper bitch with housework. <laughs> I don't fucking sweep my place now. <laughs> so, did I come over and see you? And yeah. Then, right. You come over to G-Wing. Yeah. Uh, what was it? Yeah, I, I come back off uh, Cat A unit, didn't I? Cat A unit, yeah. Why were you on the Cat A unit, Daz? Uh, I was arrested for... Uh, Importation. So, so yeah, it was quite serious. Big and drugs trial. Yeah. You were looking at possibly. Well, the, they offered me 18 years. 18 years. 18 years. If you go guilty now after that, you're looking at 20, 22 and above. Right. A lot of lads I met, yeah. They're under pressure from Crown Prosecution Service. His solicitor, barrister, come to him and said, you know, go guilty and I'll get you a reduced sentence. At no more than 18. No more than 18, or you risk getting... It starts at 22, 24 and above, you go in then. 22, 24 and above, yeah? So, yeah, shit a bus, really. Yeah. His life would have been over, so he went not guilty. Quite a few lads went guilty. And then after they went guilty, they were gutted. Going, oh, I can't believe I've done it. And But it's their legal Is, is the pressure from Crown Prosecution Mass Service to go guilty? No, I won't say CPS, your own legal team. Uh, sometimes, once they've proved the conspiracy, it's a case of, once they've proved it, it's a case of one throws their hands in, then another and another. It's like a deck of cards, it all kind of flattens out in that kind of way, really. So, so yeah, I went not guilty, ran his trial for a, to quite a few weeks, and then uh, got not guilty verdict at the end. But, yeah, there's, there's certainly pressure. I remember in the cells, one of the lads went up, he went guilty, and then as he came back out of the cells, he was like, I can't believe I've gone guilty. This is what happens, <coughs> We wanted to take it back, but obviously too late. You've really got to kind of stand your ground, but so I knew I didn't do it, so there was no way I was going guilty, but I understand why some of the other lads did for a reduced sentence. Right, so you're on G-Wing, it's the induction wing, you're a cleaner, you come off the Cat A unit. There was a, an officer, we don't have to mention her name, yeah, female officer, bad bully, probably one of the worst bullies I met in that place. She yeah. done me, you, hadn't she, for some reason? Yeah. Me and her didn't get on. No, wanted you off, so I took you out to healthcare, yeah? Yeah. Come and work as a cleaner. Would you say we got on straight away? Yeah. yeah why? Definitely. Why, why? Why did me and you get on? The people we are. The people we are. It's more a case of turning up from your part, I'm guessing, turning up, doing a job. And for my, from my part, it was, I've got to sit around and uh, wait a bit until, until we get out. Let's make it not... Not as easy as we can, I suppose, but more uh, palatable uh, would be the phrase, I would say. Shall I, shall I make it easier? It's a lot simpler than that. Yeah. It, it is just who you are. 
you know, talk to people within like, I don't know, a minute of meeting someone, you know whether you're going to get on with them or not. Yeah. You all right, mate? Yeah. Yeah, so... You, you know whether you're going to get on with them or not. I got on with this lad. I used to get on with all like, who are you on with? Cleaners. Uh, as in staff or... No, no, the other cleaners. Um, Marfleet. Mark Marfleet, he's another lad. Got on with him like an yeah. house on fire. And good lad. There were loads on there. A lot of them were the Codies. We, we were with, uh, sorry, worked with, like it was a profession. Uh, a lot of them were Codies. Right, we're uh, just going to take a look. South Fall Street. There's the tower, like I say. K-Wing, massive. So this top jail and bottom jail, for those that haven't done this walk and talk before, the wing you can see there below the tower, K-Wing, is top jail. If you look, this is a hill. Top jail is four wings at the top of the hill. And <laughs> if you move on down to the Princess Castle behind there, you've got the bottom jail, five wings, because it's at the bottom of the hill. There you go, that's a good explanation, isn't it, yeah. Daz? Right, walk this way. I always used to know it was top and bottom. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, probably. Obviously, we spent a lot of time inside the wall rather than outside the wall. Never used to get out much. Yeah. So, me and him could have been the same person, you know. Some of the people I knocked about with as a kid got locked up, did time. You know, you, you, your friends are just your friends or whatever. Some are up to no good. Uh, I'm going to do Daz's story. His childhood was very different to mine. I was brought up as a single parent. Uh, no real male role models. However, uh, that old wartime spirit from my nan was instilled into me. And my mum was just a proper man, worked two or three jobs, uh, just tried to provide for you and stuff like that. So manners, treating women with respect, all that sort of bollocks, yeah? You can stick your fucking, what is it talk about now? Toxic masculinity, go fuck yourself, yeah? yeah you treat women right, look after women, that's what you do, yeah? Opening doors and stuff like that. Nice and respectful, I call everyone as love as well. You know, if you don't like that, that's, tough that's shit. That's offensive now, yeah? That's offensive. Yeah. Calling people love, yeah. I had it when they were inside these walls. Fucking hell, they give, give it me a neck when I come here. You know, you can't call people yeah. love. Yeah. Right, over here, Daz. Things are not allowed to do. Yeah. Safe. Let's talk about that bully officer. Yeah. Uh, short, gobby, uh, talk to people like shit. That's staff and other prisoners. You should fight. Invite a lot of trouble, didn't she? She did. Standing on the curb there. Of course, fights. Yeah, most definitely. But she enjoyed it. She enjoyed it. Well, for my part, she, she certainly enjoyed it. She certainly, uh, yeah. She, she, did, she did enjoyed she, confrontation. Did Did she not gain a predicament where basically you clean his saved her neck, where she'd have got filled in? Yeah, yeah. Two female staff, yeah, where uh, one of the prisoners violently assaulted her. Uh, yeah. This, this lass literally would, they'd send her in to provoke people. She yeah. was fucking horrible. Said, uh, when someone sell, get your fucking cell cleaned or something like that. And that's the start of the confrontation. Treat and speak well, to people how you want to be spoke to and threat they send. Yeah, you come yeah. out the cell and buddy, give it a crack and then uh, obviously if you weren't happy, you can't have, even though it's staff, you still can't have buddy folks beating up women. So uh, a couple of, a couple of the lads. So we got stuck in and buddy obviously stopped it happening. I think we got a pound or five pound off the governor or something at the time. Five, five pound off the governor. Just soak it in. Again, if you're not familiar, this is top jail. That's eye wing there. You see the highest roof. That's the center of the top jail. And the eye wing was a small wing. That's the detox wing. Loosely speaking, any bad detoxes would end up on healthcare, wouldn't it, Daz? Yeah. To get clean. <laughs> yeah, to get clean. They do the rattle on there and then they no. go to eye wing. I was gonna say, do you remember eye wing? I'm gonna tell you something Drug now about, about this less. Let me sum that last up that we've been talking about. Yeah. You had someone on G Wing, an old fella, 
or he looked really old. He, he might not have been as old as he looked. He was unwell. He was in for two weeks, yeah. yeah. Me and Bradders. Who's Bradders? Software, yeah, one of the managers. My two managers. Two Karens. <laughs> yeah, that's not good nowadays, being called Karen, is it? But it were KK, Karen Kenny, and Bradders, Karen Bradbury. Me and Bradders went on to G-Wing, where Daz lived. He was a guy, only in for two weeks, he wasn't well. And he wasn't eating. So the bully officer has phoned us up to come over. We've got a lad who's not eating, he needs to come to healthcare. Food refusal, officially it's called. Food refusal, not hunger strike. So we went to see this lad, he explained he weren't well, he got stomach problems, he was only in two weeks, he didn't feel like eating, he was fine, he just wanted to be left alone. We were happy with that. We reported to the office. They weren't happy because, because he weren't eating, they had to fill paperwork in, yeah? And that was problematic for him. At tea time, we're having our tea, there's a bit of a commotion. He brings this lad on. This is the bully officer, and I'll talk about him after. There was another officer, big lad, uh, very heavy set, big bulge up back of his neck, fat neck. He was another bully, him. Somebody like Daz is not having a go at yeah some somebody well it don't matter what the stature is who can't defend herself who hasn't got any balls or anything about him it'd be filling him in he was horrible he brought this lad on so i went out of the office bradders were very upset they asked whether there was a cell pointed to a cell i took her back in office because it would have ended up in confrontation when we finished this tea, we went to the cell. I'm just gonna let these two vehicles pass. We went to the cell, this lad was naked. He should never be naked, should he, Daz, in prison. When he strip searched people, which is fucking horrible, yeah, he stripped top off, give him something back on the top off, strip the bottom off, it's not pleasant. They'd stripped him naked, dragged him over there, left his clothes outside the cell, and he was in a bare cell, no bedding, no nothing, in the corner, shivering, yeah? We asked the lad what had happened. Officer Bully, and I'll tell you what, prisoners, when they're treated really badly, they do tell the truth, said she'd come in a cell, said you're going to healthcare, he said, I've seen a manager, I don't have to go, dragged him off the bed with a mattress. Mattress, ragged him off, staff come in, bent him up, twisted him up. This is a guy who's not ill, not well, and literally dragged him over to the healthcare. As they were going off, bully boy officer, the lass, and the big neck fat bastard, yeah, high-fived each other. They've just dragged an old man who's not well, restrained, onto healthcare, stripped him naked, <coughs> left him shivering in a cell, and the I-5 disgusts me, absolutely fucking disgusts me. Something to be proud of, that, innit? Something to be proud of. Yeah, go on, Swiftly you. moving on. Wall again, innit? Yeah, yeah why are you talking when I've started my video? I didn't know you started your video. Yeah, I have. My apologies. There, there, there's another, another institution, Salford Van Ayer. Empire Street is where we're on. And we're going to be walking down Sherburn Street. Right, Daz. You were born. Step back on the curb so you're safe, mate. I'm a little bit taller as well on the curb, don't I? So, fondest memories of being in strange ways. Family Have you got time. any? Visits. Visits, Go on. visits are the only fond memories in there. So I used to get, I was on remand, so I used to have a visit a week, the wife and kids coming up. So yeah, that was always good. Look forward to that. And you behave more because if you don't behave, you don't get your visits, do you? you end up yeah. on basic. So yeah. Tell people about nice. healthcare when you worked on there. Healthcare is nice, uh, nice environment for some very poor people, isn't there? Yeah. Uh, from yeah, you self farmers to yeah. Uh, what what, what did you think poor. about that? Was it were you uncomfortable in that environment no, at first? No, no. If if you think of G wing and, and K wing, which was the normal environment, that they're, they're busy, busy always things going on. And not, not, I wouldn't say trouble, but yeah, you're, you're always alert. But yeah, healthcare is more laid back. 
apart from you're very poorly people. And nice stuff. Yeah, good stuff. Officers. Well, they speak to you. They speak to you humane. Treat you. Treat you right. First names. Uh, yeah, I think it was, weren't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, you yeah. you skirt nurses by the first names, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they were. They were good. Yeah, a lot of respect for staff on there, these lads. You know, it was a, a responsible position. Out all day, cleaning, serving meals, cleaning showers, stood talking to people. Never many staff on there, prison officers on that healthcare. There was only two of you. If you were locked down, there was only one of you. You got people who were on, on well, on the emergency cell bells. These lads would stand and talk to them for hours on end, help you out. And in association, when you come out, Perhaps not not the best crowd. No. Ent entertaining, entertaining at best. Yeah. Again, these lads were there. You could play pool with them, have a chat. They'd play pool with the lads who weren't well and the like. Daz, why did you end up in prison? Uh, I was asking on the conspiracy. Of we know the conspiracy. No, you've been in and out of prison or caught in trouble all your life. Yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, alcohol played a big part. Yeah, uh, always. Yeah, definitely always. From teenage years, twelve years old. Uh, twelve years old. I think I drank every day. Uh, from twelve years old, not a great childhood growing up. So yeah, I turned to alcohol, getting uh, having a drink before I even got on the bus. We're gonna do his life story in the car. So yeah, there was always alcohol involved. Violence. Uh, violence, yeah. Does I, the violence come with the alcohol? Well, the violence, I, I grew up in violence. Uh, Mum and dad were violent towards each other. Violence was a normal way of life. Uh, violence was what seemed normal, certainly. Certainly, like, you grow up and you pick up traits from whoever brings you up. And yeah, my parents were both very violent towards each other. So yeah, there was violence all around, that's all I knew. And then when things went wrong, I, I turned, I turned to, to violence, really, to solve issues and stuff like that, normally. To, I was drunk or certainly had a few drinks. So yeah, wake up and go, oh shit, what have I done now when you're in the in the cells with that blue mattress and you're thinking, hmm, I've done it again. How many times have you been to prison, Daz? Uh, I don't know, I'd say eight, nine times. By, by the way, none of it I'm, I'm a proud of at all. You know when people go, yeah, yeah, I've been, been in this jail, bro, I've been in that jail, bro. Going to jail is just a fucking idiot's way of life. Uh, but yeah, probably eight, nine times. Uh, small offences to, to the larger offences. So, so yeah, so three months here and there to uh, look at a big sentence. And I think the first time I went to prison was section 18. I got to just under four years. So yeah. That Are was... you a YouTuber? Yeah. Yes. Is it jail deal? Is it what? Jail deal. No, no, no. Real porridge. Real porridge. Yeah. I just got out in December. I'll have a look at your channel. Yeah, have a look at Real Porridge. Come and tell your story. My story? Yeah. yeah. Fucking hell. That's what I'm doing now. From in there. Yeah. There you go. More customers for you there, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got a lighter on you? No, I, no don't mate. smoke, mate. <laughs> are, you, are you all right on camera? Yeah, 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 yeah. Happy days, mate. Oh, what, uh, what? Uh, who are you? Uh... Nice to meet you, man. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. I knew, nice mate. You, boys. Uh, so, Bailey, I uh, got remanded in July. I was in uh, Oak Course for a month. Yeah. Went court, ended yeah. up in Doncaster. Doncatraz. <laughs> Fucking Doncaster. Yeah, dead right. Went from Doncaster, did four months there, went back to court, Oak Course, Liverpool again, and then done one night in Forest Bank and got out. Happy days. Is that your first That's time in prison? Uh, first time in prison, yeah. First time in prison. Uh, beefing with my missus and her family. Yeah. Typical domestics. They love them right now, don't they? Yeah. So, Can't well, listen, there's a couple of things you're getting locked up for now. Yeah. Protesting if you're white and domestics. Yeah. yeah. I, you know, they don't. I spent my whole time on remand sorting everything out, basically. I didn't want a trial on it. I, I got a decent plea deal together. Yeah. And I just wanted the truth. Yeah. I was prepared to go guilty on, on what I'd done. Yeah, hold your hands up for it. But it had to be the truth, basically. I couldn't I couldn't go guilty on, on circumstances that weren't true. Yeah. And it's not uh, it's not justice really at the end of the day. Did that do your arm? Yeah. Yeah, I'm so 
fucking hard work when you come back out. Yeah, but it is. Yeah, it is. Again, it, is it? it is. I got remanded just to be let go. Yeah. And a lot of the things I got remanded for didn't happen. Yeah. But you know, the, the crown got their conviction, and I got out. So whatever. Did they set you on here straight away, Salford Van? Eh? Uh, yeah, I worked here before. So they set you back on yeah. after. Yeah. That's yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's you know, nice. They're, they're a mint company. Mint company tire vans from mint company to work for. Yeah. You know, they're really good. Really good. good happy there. It's good that they have the advantage as well, though, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So you're not you going back to prison. Character. Nah, nah. Definitely Hopefully. Not, definitely not going back to prison. Hundred percent. Well, if I do, you know. It's long hours, isn't it? it was me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-three hour bang up and that. Yeah. No, it's not, not good. Nice. One of the, one of the worst places you can go to. Anyone that says uh, they enjoy it, as I'm sure you two will know. Anyone says yeah. that they're not asked about it and this and that. Yeah. Bullshit. Bullshit. You. The lion. Well, I'm an ex screw me, so ah, yeah. yeah, not a nice place, is it? From both no, sides, no, no, both sides. It, this is what I always say, mate. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, we get to go home at night, plays with your head, I bet uh, it was, I bet see it was. a lot of bad shit, stuff like that. Not good, and you know, eventually, we get out, you, you know, obviously, I, I don't presume you do that anymore, well, but you're, got... you're, you know, the screws are still there, do you know what I mean? Some I'm... of them are there 20 years, 25 years, <laughs> me. It, it screwed me up. Do you not think a lot of them are young now? Oh, yeah. So, so young, aren't they now? Especially, obviously, I was at private prisons, uh, Circle and Sodexo, and some of the screws there, I remember this, her name was Ellie or something, she was 18. Yeah. And I remember she did a training, they done like six weeks. So she was on the wing, she just didn't have any keys. Yeah. yeah. And then six weeks later, she got keys, and I'm like... Wow. Big turn around that. Do you know it? what I mean? So a lot of them are young nowadays. Some of them know what they're doing. Yeah. Um, but a lot of them ain't got a clue. And obviously it affects it affects, it affects us as well. Do you know what I mean? If things aren't run properly and you want yeah. your mail or your phone call or yeah, yeah, whatever yeah, it is yeah, that exactly. you need and you can't get it, it's so frustrating. And it's not safe for them either because I remember one time uh, Ellie, she was on the wing and she opened somebody's door at seven o'clock. Obviously there was nobody else on the wing. Yeah. And I can't remember what they was asking for. They was asking for some whatever. And she just opened the door casually. And I was thinking, I remember watching and I was like, why have you done that? <laughs> don't, you don't know who's behind the door. No, no <laughs> common sense. It's your fucking first week on the wing. You're just randomly cracking doors. So, yeah. now nah, a lot of them haven't got a clue. A lot of them have not got a clue. Straight out of the job centre into the wing. Shame. But Shame. He's, he, he's done it for you then. Yeah. That's yeah, it, yeah, no yeah, more. Yeah. He's done it for me. He's done <laughs> it for how'd, me. You, how'd you move on from that? Is it just... Oh, I'll be honest, mate. It's tricky to move on from it because I'm very jaded with how everything went down, you know, at uh, Bitter? Very bitter, because like I say, I didn't, even in the end, when I got my plea deal together, I still didn't go guilty on, on what actually happened. Yeah. So still very bitter. Um, and, and even now with probation, it's, it's, it's not going to rehabilitate me because I can't, I can't talk about what actually happened because he's got the Crown's version of events that he's got to go off. Yeah. So, it, it, in so no it's way, frustrating. It in no way helps me. No, no, in no, in no way does, does, has any of it helped me, but. You just gotta crack on. Well, the thing is, mate, you're working. That's yeah? That's Which it. is a good thing, isn't it? You got a purpose. Yeah. And you seem like a, a sensible young man. I am, just uh, poor decisions. It's put, it's, it's hard work putting it all back together when you come out, though, isn't it? Yeah, the debt as well, man. The, the, the debt. The and when people you've been... don't know you go, yeah, he's all right. Like, like so for fun, I yeah, 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 have yeah, a job yeah, back yeah. in a flat yeah. that. But then the, on, on the peripheral edges, yeah, you've you got can, people yeah, going, yeah, you, he, he must have done it all. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's, you know, it is. Life is great. In court, everything's black and white. Yeah. yeah. But, but real life is grey as fuck. Yeah, of course it is. You know, and that, it just doesn't apply to the courtroom. Do you feel that you don't have a chance to tell your story in the courtroom as 100%, well? 100%. Have, 100%. You've yeah, got you to keep don't have your say, you do you? you keep your mouth yeah. shut, haven't you? Yeah. My, uh, I remember having talked to my solicitor and I was saying like, well, what if I say this at sentencing? Oh, no, no, no. And he was just like, nah, nah, just just shut up and yeah. you might be going Keep your gob shut. <laughs> and that's, that's I'm do on now. Tell you. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I'm on tag till March, two years suspended, so. Good on yeah, you, mate. Just gotta be a good boy. Are you gonna but show no. us your tag? Yeah. Good lad. <laughs> is that seven till seven? No, because uh, of me working hours, it was gonna be something yeah. similar to that. Yeah. Because nice. of me working hours, I didn't want to say anything in court. Yeah. But my mum said, uh, my mum went, oh, it, it works yeah, from yeah, six yeah. till six. Yeah. Um, so they amended it and they gave me five till nine. Right. I was just gonna keep my mouth shut and just be like, yeah. I'll do whatever. whatever. Just <laughs> yeah, get out, yeah, innit? yeah. Just but, get out. but my mum obviously sorted that out for me. So Good. yeah. Right, I'm going to get back to work. Listen, anyway, mate. Thank you. Nice. I appreciate the time. No, no. Nice to nice meet to you. Meet you mate. Nice to meet you, man. We're on. And like you say, it's wrong, isn't it, mate? It is. All the best for the future, yeah? You too. You take Keep it easy. Mate. See you later, mate. See you later. See you later, take dude. Care. Well, but it looks like they've actually cleaned streets up a bit, Dad. I'll be honest with you. I didn't see a lot of the streets. 
So there you go, how about that? Young man there, polite, obviously got his head screwed on. You know, his mum, bless her, tagged. It fucks your lives up, yeah? Frustrations, we've just been talking about that, me and Daz, haven't we? Crown Prosecution Service, go guilty, keep your gob shut. You can't argue, you can't state your case. Shocking state of affairs. However, good on Salford Van Ayer. Had a job, set him back on. Hopefully his life, but you, you can tell, can't you? Polite young man. Yeah. Locked up over some domestic issue. Fucking hundreds, thousands of people in prison. They could be doing something else with. You know, he got a fucking job him. He could have lost his job and everything. Yeah? Why not tag him, let him carry on working? Locking him up in there, he's just said, two, three, four jails, did nothing for him. Um, it just fucks people up. Angry with the system, you end up. And, well, Angry like he system. says, it'll take him a while to get over that, won't it? Yeah. yeah. The good thing is, he's got a purpose, he's working. It's like putting your life back together. You come back out and you, I don't know whether he's got an house and stuff like that, you got to sort out accommodation, sort out work, but he, family friends get all that trust back and stuff like that because once you go in prison it's like oh he, he must have done it you don't put nobody in prison for nothing so well that's it isn't it you're up against it straight away so it's yeah. nice it's nice i'll tell you what though as an employee if i would employed him and someone happened they were in you'd set him straight back on yeah. you can tell can't you straight yeah. away when he come over introducing himself yeah but yeah good on him no shame in it it's no just, just the way of life isn't it? it's unfortunately sometimes good on you lad all the best Strange ways there. This is very new road. Where you're looking now, where all the snide shops, they cleared them out months ago now. Uh, being closed down, took 10 ton of snide gear or whatever. However, people will still be trading. Never goes forever. So go on, fire away, Daz, just ask me a question. I was just saying about the car park, if uh, you have a concern or worry when you park up, there's someone watching you coming out if you have trouble or a disappearing. So, are, are you worried they'll be watching you coming out or coming to get you sometime? For me, if you're doing your job right, end of day. Soz dudes, camera rotation not working like. Like I was saying to Daz now, you know, if you treat and speak to people properly, never had no fear me. Um, when I were in private sector, Bolton Town Centre, yeah, full of lads, young lads I used to know, buying your beers and things like that. They're not buying them here because you were bringing them drugs and phones in. It's because you're a decent person and treat them right, spoke to them properly. Same in Manchester, these fucking screws that used to come to work in civvies, yeah? I come in my uniform driving in my car, there's people that wouldn't dare walk into Manchester. There were some dogs, absolute dogs in there, staff. Not a lot, more good than bad, you've always got to remember the good ones. I think you might see a lot of now when going to work in Salford. A lot of the uh, staff walking to work, walking to work in the uniform. The Forest Bank? Yeah, Forest Bank prison, yeah. Staff walking to work. In uniform. Never used to see that. Never used to see that. All local people from basically local to the prison. Yeah. It's uh, it's a strange thing, like I said, like I said, staff. For, for me, it's never been a problem, Cons. Um, no. I remember, little story. Deansgate. So as you look down into Manchester there, you've got Deansgate, come to Manchester Arena and then onto Deansgate, we're in a booze that is about, I don't know, 80 screws, maybe, all on 80? Christmas, yeah, on Christmas right. dues. There's A-Wing, K-Wing, reception, a couple other areas, yeah, we're all down Deansgate in a boozer. Uh, there was an ex cate who have not been out long. Um, tasty fucker. What's that mean, Dad? 
handle himself, can't they? Handle himself, Safety, yeah. handle himself, yeah. And it was me and Mr. Egg who's no longer here, bless him. Yeah. So he came straight up to us. He came off the Cate unit onto K Wing. Oh, right. And we gave him, you're right, buddy. And we gave him a job. Yeah. He come up to me and Mr. Egg. He says, Can I buy you guys a pint? Mr. Egg says, That's an offer we can't refuse. And he bought us a pint. The fucking area around us for 10 meters cleared. All the fucking screws fucking move. He says, he says, apologies, gentlemen, am I embarrassing you? I says, you're not embarrassing us at all. Anyway, we had a pint, a little chat. He went back to the bar to his mates. As we left the pub, we offered to return the favor. He wouldn't accept a drink, but he thanked us uh, for our time. When we got back to work, Somebody put an SIR in, security information report. I went in front of the security governor. All right, Gov, yeah. Do you know why you're here? No. You were seen drinking over the Christmas period with an ex-cate. I said, are you fucking kidding me? He says, weren't you? I says, yeah, I were. Me and Mr. Egg. He says, what were you doing? Drinking with an ex-cate. I says, we're in a pub with 80 other screws. He came up and offered to buy us a fucking pint. I said, that's it. Some snidey bastards in there making a big deal of something. Yeah? Yeah, 100%. Moving swiftly on. There we go, nice visit. South Hall Street, we've got a visit centre there. That's where you have to book in when you come for your visits. There's the entry exit. Just below the flag. Everyone, staff, civilians, goes into prison, goes through the search procedure. Being high security prison wandered down go through a portal visitors same and searched including children the staff who used to do that job for me did it with uh, a lot of empathy a lot of young kids going in that place oh it's not rotating for me does yeah, i'll fix it for you there right, you go. right we're back on it mate so Walking back up here now towards car, what are your thoughts now? I don't miss it. Back here, did, did it bring up any bad memories? No. Are you very indifferent? And anyone who was on the wrong side of the wall there, my heart goes out to them. So they're obviously in there for reasons, stuff like that. I'm not going to get into, but yeah, it's long hours. It's long hours, it's no way I fucking... What about the sort no of people you meet in there? You mean... So, obviously the country... Are we, are we doing anything for um, the system? What, in, is the prison service? Yeah. No, you're locking people up. That, that's all you're doing. No all, all we're good at is keep no the public safe. It's not what you're asking. No one's changing. No, they, they, they do anything. I I, I've ne I always say we, we don't rehabilitate. You don't do fuck all. When you end up in prison, you come out smarter and a bit more agile to crime. Streetwise? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know. Uh, it's... It's a way of life in there, and you certainly meet people when they come out of there, and it's like, yo, bro, yo, yo, and the way they talk and stuff like that. I mean, fair play to them, that's, that's fine, but it's kind of a way of life, prison. When you meet someone, you know whether they've been in or, or not, by the way they talk and the mannerisms and stuff like that. But, uh, I've always said, when I worked with young offenders at Forest Bank, that was a private prison in Salford. We'll do a walk and talk back there soon, yeah? There were four or five lads on the wing who were armed robbers. Very good at it, made a lot of money as well. Obviously not that good because they got caught. The rest of the lads of wing were in for petty, petty crime. However, they looked up to them and over the next 15 years, I would see a lot of them lads back in strange ways on the Cat A unit for armed robberies. Yeah? Sad state of affairs, Some mate. Some do it as a way of life, don't they? Well, some people never change, do they? Well, again, growing up, if that's if that's what you know, then, you know. Products of our childhood, yeah? Yes. 100%. People growing up, dads as bank robbers, growing up with violence, drugs, alcohol. Yeah. Single parent families, poor. Man's got to eat, hasn't he? Yeah, man's got to eat. Yeah. That lad, who... <laughs> Who we just interviewed round the other side, you know. 
these people walking for court now, uh, paedophiles, rapists, sex offenders, walking away from court over 800 last year because prisons are full. And then we're locking polite young men up like that lad who's had a bit of a domestic Barney. We could have done something with him, put him on tag, left him working at Salford Van Eyre. But no, we put him in prison. I just boils my piss. Do you know how many people I were reading? How many people are actually locked up for TV license, non-payment of fine? Easiest crime, isn't it? Go for the easy ones. What? If, that, you, that, if that, you don't pay your TV license, they got you up and put you in prison with a TV. That's all right, isn't it? <laughs> but you do. You yeah, have PlayStation you, and your you have, to, you have to pay. Don't you pay 50p? Yeah, 50p out of pound. Yeah, this is true. This, if you're in prison, you pay 50p a week for your TB if you're in a double cell. If you're in a single cell, you have to pay a pound. Yeah. So there's no escaping the fucking TV license, <laughs> even if you're in fucking prison. Yet we lock people up for that as well. We're just going to turn around now. Oh, I'm having trouble rotating this camera. Fuck. It's not having it, does. <laughs> Yes. There you go, mate. I'll come here next time and do it for you. So HMP Manchester, we've got there. We've got the sign next to it. You got the main gate. We've got the bollards to stop vehicles ramming it and getting in. You'd be pretty stupid to try and get in there, wouldn't you, mate? Most of us are trying to get out. Well, that's <laughs> fucking. Let's walk up to the uh, Princess Castle to finish our little tour. Like I said, we're going to go back to Forest Bank, private sector prison. I'd like to go and see some other prisons, me. Just have walk and talks. Obviously, with all this auditing now, they're all over it, aren't they? Yeah. Arresting people. As soon as you turn shit. up, what are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. Do you think it's a daunting place? It is when you look at it there, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that bit there. That's just child friendly at the front there, isn't it? You look at it there. Yeah, definitely. The modern yeah, bit. Yeah. The old bits certainly. Office yeah. blocks and that, and then obviously got the old gatehouse. I remember passing it on a bus as a kid, going, oh, boom, minute, that's where all the bad men go. And then years later, here I am. All the bad men are in there. Yeah. Allegedly. Razor wire. I don't know whether they still pay at European Union. We used to. A fine for using razor wire. Do you know that? Hmm? Yeah, it's outlawed under Human Rights Act. What a load of fucking bollocks that is. It's not rotating for me again, Daz. Your hands are cold. So, we've done us a little walk and talk now. Um, I'm going to do Daz's life story shortly. Um, final thoughts, mate, on prison. Don't waste your time. Don't yeah, waste your time. Don't waste your time. For the, uh, yeah, it's, it's long hours, you don't get out much. Yeah, it's the most I've seen of the uh, strange ways outside. I can tell you all about the inside, but yeah. Is it? Yeah. Never walked around the place, yeah. Who would? Did you learn out from all your time in prison? No. In inconvenience. So the first time I went in, it was daunting, and you're like, oh my god. Uh, thereafter, it just kind of. Do you like, think there's a problem? What What do you think to uh, taking school kids around prison? Scared. Like they do in America, show them what it's like. Oh, it's part of induction, isn't it? I mean, if you end up there. I remember I used to be terrified of prison, or oh, rape, and all oh, this, that, and the other's gonna happen. And when you get in there, you meet the nicest guys in the world to the scum of the earth. And I don't mean that in a horrible way. It's just very different from the most intelligent, nicest people to like, people you won't want to bump into. So, yeah. Strange ways walk and talk. That's Daz, he's my mate. Get over it. Thanks for coming. God bless you all. I'll see thee. If you wanna say that? I'll see you. I'll see you later. Ciao for now.